Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant and in today's video we're going to talk about Micro Four Thirds lenses for street photography, okay? So this comes off the back of, you know, um, a few videos I've done, you know, alternatives to the very popular Fujifilm X100V um, and, you know, particular Micro Four Thirds cameras for street photography and, you know, we're heading down that road again but this time we're going to dedicate ourselves to actual lenses. Lenses I've used uh, and currently use, uh, lenses I've used in the past and no longer have, and a few other lenses that might be really, really good options if you're a micro four thirds shooter shooting uh, street photography, okay? So stay tuned, this is gonna be a good one. Let's roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, Micro Four Thirds lenses for street photography. As I said, this comes off the back of a few other videos I've made about Micro Four Thirds for street photography. Um, and this one is all about lenses, okay? So I've got a few lenses here that I'm gonna talk about, um, a few lenses that you know I'm also gonna discuss that I don't have here with me. Um, I've pretty much tried all these lenses out myself. And yeah, I've got a few extra wildcard lenses down here in my notes down on the bottom um, that you might want to stick around for too, right? So let's get into my first choice and the lens I currently use the most for street photography. Okay, the lens I use the most these days for street photography is my Panasonic Leica 12mm with uh, 1.4 with the clicky aperture ring, okay? This lens is fantastic. 24mm um, full frame equivalent. Um, brilliant wide lens for you know uh, urban landscapes and stuff like that um, but also using your, using your feet um, you know dialing in your compositions um, you know you can get a whole variety of shots with this 12 mil focal length okay or 24 mil full frame focal length uh, brilliant lens built like a brick you know what um, solid as a rock Fantastic lens, highly recommend it. It's the lens I'm rocking these days, the most on my Lumix G9 for street photography. This is my current street photography setup. But if you've watched a few other videos over the last couple of weeks, you know, I've talked about, you know, missing my GX9 camera, and that's something that I'm looking at getting. Uh, this, ca this lens used to pair up with that camera particularly well. Um, very compact, um, but very well balanced as well. It's a great lens for those particular style of cameras, those sort of DS, um, or, uh, range finder style cameras. Great lens for that. And yeah, great lens for street photography. Super sharp across the board. Brilliant. You do have to watch the banana effect with this lens sometimes, depending on the things you're shooting. Um, but yeah, great lens, highly recommend it. Let's get into my second choice. Okay, the second choice, which I no longer have. Hmm, one of those things that I shouldn't have sold again but it is the Olympus 12-40 f2.8. Yes, a zoom lens for street photography. If you haven't used a zoom lens for street photography, I highly recommend you give it a try. Your compositions go, you know, skyrocket through the roof. It gives you so many different options, um, especially if you're in a bit of a rut with street photography using prime lenses. The zoom lenses really gives you a lot more options and can potentially break you out of a real funk. That's what I used to find. That's when I used to break out that lens, okay? Um, super versatile zoom range of 12 to 40 mil or full frame 24 to 70, let's just say. Um, the main thing about that lens too is not just the zoom and the versatility of the zoom. I'm just gonna put my G9 down. 12 to 40 mil, the zoom range itself is very versatile as we know, but the optics and the image quality that used to come out of that lens was absolutely brilliant. Um, something about those Olympus, Olympus glass, man, they produce great colors, even paired up, you know, with the uh, Lumix G90 used to pair it up with the most. And, you know, I am more of an advocate of sticking Lumix with Lumix and Olympus with Olympus, mainly for the dual IS, you know, dual sync IS image stabilization stuff. But even so, Olympus, that Olympus lens paired up with my G9 used to get great results. I highly recommend it. That lens, other zoom lenses you might want to consider would be, you know, I do use now the 12 to 60 Panasonic Leica. That's a variable aperture lens. That's a great street photography lens. If you want a zoom lens for street photography, good option. The other option would be the 12 to 35 f 2.8. That would be a great super compact, lightweight zoom street photography lens as well for the micro four thirds ecosystem. 
So yeah, zoom lenses for street photography. That's lenses I've used and some options that you know are out there. Um, give it a go if you haven't done it before. Highly recommend it. Let's get into lens number three. Okay, my third choice would be some sort of nifty 50 or normal lens, okay? Micro four thirds, we're gonna be talking 25 mil. And the one that jumps to mind for me, uh, and I've currently got in my collection, is the 25 mil f1.7. This is a great lens. It's super cheap, but the quality of images you get out of it and the rendering and the compression on this lens is brilliant. Fast at 1.7, uh, you get some nice urban slices with this sort of thing, some great detail shots. It's got a good minimal focusing uh, distance. Um, brilliant little lens. Um, some people in the comments have mentioned they've had some issues with focusing. I haven't had that issue, but that might be something you might be uh, mindful of um, doing your research on that. Uh, if your budget opens up a bit more, you can look at the 25mm f1.4 by Panasonic Leica. That's a great lens. I've used that in the past myself. I've got my eye on that lens too, to actually pick it up and put it officially in my kit. Uh, that's a great option as well. Um, great colors out of that lens. The other one would be the Olympus uh, 25mm or 50mm equivalent uh, f1.8. Uh, that's a great lens. That's one lens I haven't actually used, um, but you know, a lot of my Olympus shooting friends have got that in their Micro Four Thirds kit and they rave about it a lot, right? So some sort of normal nifty 50 lens is another great option for Micro Four Thirds and street photography. Let's get on to my fourth choice. Okay, my fourth choice is, and I've used this lens quite a bit in the past, I've never owned it, but is the Olympus 17mm f1.8. That lens is brilliant. Um, it looks great on a camera like the um, Olympus Pen F. Oh, magic street combo, 35 mil ish uh, full frame equivalent. So it's a classic street photography focal length. Uh, that's another great lens, another great option that comes in silver and black, depending on the camera body you've got. Um, a fantastic lens, man. You really can't go wrong. Um, all my friends that actually own that lens, uh, yeah, they rave about it. And please, if you've got that lens, let me know the performance of it down in the comments below. I'd like to know your opinions too. But, you know, if I had an Olympus Pen F, that would be the lens I would be getting for street photography. And you never know what 2023 is gonna bring. Depends on how good this YouTube channel goes. Uh, let's get on to my fifth choice. Okay, lens number five. And this is the lens that I will be getting in the next two or three months, I think. Um, it's the Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7. I've used that lens a lot in the past, just borrowed from friends, and um, I've never made the plunge to get it. I almost got it, but in replacement, I got the 12mm f1.4 um, because I wanted a faster sort of lens, okay? Um, again, the Leica 15mm, it's a 30mm full frame equivalent, so that's a great wide-ish sort of focal length for street photography, a little bit wider than the 12mm or the 24mm equivalent. The great thing about that lens that really appeals to me, and when I've used it, and any of my lenses that have it, is this, <laughs> this clicky aperture ring that goes around the lens. It's not something that I thought I would use, however, I use it all the time. Um, yeah, it's absolutely super handy. That 12, that 15 mil, I should say, 1.7 has that. Uh, it's super compact. That lens paired up with the GX9 or a GX80, 85, wherever you come from, would be, make a great street combo. And that is a great street lens. I know a lot of uh, people have commented my Micro Four Thirds street photography videos that are users of that lens and I want to hear from all of you about that lens. Let me know how it goes. Um, you know, that is a lens that I've got the eBay alert all about uh, and ready to go for me to pick that bad boy up along with a GX9 potentially too. However, um, that's my five choices. Let's get into some sort of like wildcard choices or some other options you might want to look at too, okay? Okay, the first one would be, um, you know, this is, what is it? This is a Micro Four Thirds Seven Artisans third party lens, manual focus lenses. This one's a 35 mil, but you can get different focal lengths and stuff. Um, just experiment with these lenses too. Uh, you know, they're a lot of fun. That's all I can say. Uh, manual focusing and stuff like that, you know, you, coming from autofocus, 
Again, going back to manual focus was a bit of a learning curve, but you know, these are good lenses. They're super cheap, but they're well built and they're super solid. I'm not saying any particular focal length is the one to go for. This 35 mil, I find maybe is a little bit too cropped on the micro four thirds for street photography. However, some sort of, you know, cheap, you know, Chinese brand uh, manual focus lens, they're another good option for street photography. You could also look at, you know, going back to the native Lumix and Olympus lenses, um, the Lumix 20mm f1.7 pancake lens. That's a great lens. I've used that a few times myself. This is another lens I haven't used though. The Panasonic Leica 12mm f1.7. That lens is relatively new in the micro four thirds ecosystem. I would love to give that a go. That would be a super great lens for wide urban landscapes and stuff like that. Can't go wrong with that one. Um, yeah, that'd be one I wouldn't mind picking up as well. But we'll go the 15mm first. The other one would be, and this is coming out of my research, and I haven't actually used this one too yet, guys, but um, it's the Olympus 12mm f1.8. Oh, sorry, f2 lens. Bit of a slower lens in the grand scheme of things. But that would be a 24mm uh, full frame equivalent at f2. So, you know, the price represents it's a lot cheaper than the Panasonic Leica 12, uh, 12mm there, 1.4. But that's another great lens to look at as well for street photography. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. They're the sort of lenses and sort of options you can look at if you're a micro four thirds shooter. Um, you know, doing street photography, getting into street photography, established street photography, and you're still building up your street photography kit, okay? So please let me know down below the current lenses you use for street photography. You, you might not even be a Micro Four Thirds user. Let me know down below. I'm very interested to hear it. I'm learning so much from the comments. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, if you get value out of this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Big thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.